Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these super dual diamond shaped earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials, usually two times a week and you will be inspired often and also you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself because I post matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. That's why it's a good idea to hit the bell. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And another thing I want to tell you is that this video is a remake of one of my oldest videos on my channel that you liked so much but you didn't like the way I was shooting, I was going out of frame and that is why there were a lot of comments saying please make it again and that's why I decided to do this remake. I hope you like it and uh, down there in description you will also find a short clip of this video where in only 2-3 minutes you could see the whole project, this saves you time and you could decide if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips and you might also decide to subscribe there. And uh, down there in description you will also find full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations, all my social networks. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'll start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are these beautiful two-hole beads that are super dual beads or twin beads depending on the manufacturer. Here I use 3 millimeter beads. I use eight of them. And these are 11 ounce seed beads in this beautiful brown color. And here I use old gold color liver bags. This is Fireline that is 0.17 millimeters. You could use monofilament, whatever you like, and you could use 0.15 thickness. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers. The pliers are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take 12 inches of thread on my needle, which is 30 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have my thread on my needle and I'm going to pick up 10 of these beautiful super dual beads. Okay, and I have my 10 beads here. Okay, now this is what I have. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making it by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made. Then I pull again like this. And I make one more knot. Okay, and pull. Okay guys, now this is what I have. Okay, and what I want to do next is go through some beads in this direction to reinforce my work a little bit. Okay. And now guys, what I want to do is take the center of my work, the center of my flower, this 3 millimeter bead, and what I do next is that I go through the opposite of this one that I'm exiting of in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. And how I find the opposite, I count one, two, three, four beads and I go through the fifth one. And then I pull. Okay, now I have this. And in my next step, I go through this one and then at the outside edge through the empty hole of the same bead. And you see how uh, there is a pop-up effect of this bead from this side and this will be the front part of my element, okay? Now I'm going to take one 11 seed bead 
and as I'm exiting from this outer hole, I've been like this and like this, I go through the other empty outer hole of my next twin bead and I'm doing this again and again and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now I'm going through the last empty hole here. And now this is what I have. And what I'm going to do next is make some knots and cut this tail thread, okay? So as I'm exiting from this bead in this direction, I'm going through this inner hole of the same bead. At this step, if you need a reinforcement here at the center, you could go and do this. But now I'm going at the back of my element. So this is the front part where my bit is popping up and this is the back part. And here what I want to do is make a knot. I'm making it by going here and making a loop. Okay, going under this thread bridge here between those two bits, making a loop and going twice through this loop I've made and I pull tight. In my next step I go through the following bit and you could repeat this step several more times and when you're ready go through the following bit and then cut your thread as close as possible to your work. Okay, now I have this and uh, this uh, side I want to also go with this side with this thread from the other side of my element from the back side so the thread won't be visible in the front when I cut it. You could do this with tweezers to be easier. Okay, now I will cut this thread as well like this. Now I have this element ready. You could use zippers uh, also if you want to remove the excess of the thread. Okay, and now I'm going to make three more of those elements. I will take a new thread on, on my needle. Let's say double this one that I took 24 inches of thread, which is 60 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and what I have here is a new thread on my needle and three more of those elements. If you haven't done this, pause this video, make three more elements. If you don't remember how I'm doing this, rewind the video see this again and make the other elements and now I'm going to show you how to assemble them. Okay, I'm taking here one of those elements and I'm going with my new thread through one of those beads. Okay, I'm leaving here a small tail and I'm holding it with my fingers and now I'm making a loop like I showed you before and I'm going once then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull. Then what I do is that I go in this direction through some beads and pull. And when I pull my knot hides between my beads. And now I'm exiting here out of this brown bead and I'm going to take my other element. Okay. And I'm going to take one 11 old brown bead. And I'm going through this bead from my other element like this. Okay. I just want to connect those two elements with a right angle width, which is across the four. Okay, take one more and go back here through this one. Then I pull. And after I pull, guys, I want to reinforce. I'm reinforcing by going one more time around those beads. Okay, just like that. Now it comes my next step to add this element here. And in order to do this, I'm going through those beads, my next brown 11 -0. 
and then I'm going to the, through the one after that okay and here is where I'm going to attach my next element and here what I do is that I take one 11 -0 and I go through this 11 -0 here okay then take one more and I go here through this one again I make a cross of four beads and I reinforce okay guys and when I reinforce I also go through the next 11 0 and through the one after that okay now I'm here this is what I have and here I do the, the same thing I skip this one here that's after the cross and I will be connecting those two okay I take one go back here one more okay I'm making a cross of four but two of those fours are already there on my elements that is why I'm adding only two and after I reinforce several times I have this now I will go here through those beads and exit out of this one. This is one eleven away from my cross and I'm going to take one seed bead and my last element and I'm going here through this one taking just one eleven oh and I'm going back here through this one as well okay and then I'm going to reinforce okay guys and here I'm doing the same thing I'm skipping one of those 11 O's, not attaching it, but I'm attaching the next one. Okay, now as I'm exiting here, I take one 11 O and I go here through this 11 O. This is again one bit away from this cross, and this is one bit away from this cross. Okay. Then I take my last 11 0 making crosses, I mean, and I go here, and now I'm going to reinforce this. Okay guys, and here I want to attach my ear wire just at the opposite bead from here. And how I find the opposite, I count one, two, three, four, and this fifth one is the opposite. Okay. I'm exiting here. Now I'm going to take my ear wire and I'm going to attach it so this will be the front part where my beads pop up and I take one seed bead I go through here one more seed bead go through here and I'm going to reinforce okay and you could reinforce this one several times and when I'm ready I'm doing the same thing like I did before I'm going here in the center of my work like this 
here I will use my pliers then I go at the back of my work I just don't want any notes to be visible here that is why I'm doing it at the back and then I go here and I cut this thread and I also cut this thread and now guys my diamond shape super dual earring is ready okay guys and now my diamond shape super dual earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know you will be notified when i have matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook or on my instagram pages that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations and down there in description you will find a short clip of this video where in just two three minutes you could see the whole of the idea of this project and decide if you feel like making it or not this is on my second channel bijutel fast clips you might also subscribe there for inspiration and for saving time and you could also find down there in description is a full list of materials links to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me